We are back mid-run. I forgot to hit the record button. Don't worry, nothing dropped. But we're just remarking post-challenge mode that uh, it feels good to finally have some stats. Like attack speed. Have a uh, Promethean with the Pew Pew laser covering us in terms of damage. Trying to slow them down a little bit with Fireball every now and then. It does feel kind of sad. We're we were getting like such ridiculous hit per or native and like AB's percent weapons in challenge mode. And you play like the normal PSO, and it's like here's an all zeroed item. That's what you deserve. <laughs> it definitely feels so much better to play challenge mode, at least from like an item drop perspective. Like we're not getting rares necessarily, but man, almost every weapon we pick up is still useful. So sad. Goodbye, those zoos. Team will delete them. Yeah, the 80 hit brand. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, what the heck is that? Can you imagine just like, oh, you're just you're playing and you're like, oh, that's my fifth 70 hit charge arm. I don't need that one because it doesn't have the right attributes. Like, can, can you imagine getting to a point where you could say that? You're like, oh, it just, you know, it, it only has like 50 dark. I need it to actually be 80. <laughs> can you imagine? That was interesting to play, playing a uh, older version of PSO. But sometimes you just wanna, you just wanna sit there and stack a foey on them. It seems like we're on pace at least, you know, if we're, if we're averaging about 35 minutes, then we're not that worried. Considering we saved like 7 minutes on the first stage by redoing it with a 4th player, it was absolutely worth redoing. Oh, was that the final song? Was it the goodnight theme? Am I getting trolled? It was, it was the final song. Running on a soundtrack to a game I've never played, a single one in the series. Do our best to freeze and delay here. Kind of what I thought it would be. A street game having jazz. be worth me investing in another Heaven Striker. Not necessarily one with hit percentage, but honestly just one with dark percent. Specifically for the Rock is Seal to have. Or the Rock cast. I think they have the worst ones. Oh, no, no, no. The Rock cast is a good one. I'll take that back. Maybe for the Ramar then. We're fine. So far, item reader was very useful in challenge mode. There's definitely, as I said before, I don't really want to touch my other reader to say, like, there's an antidote or something. Oh, that reminds me, I need to turn that off at some point. I mean, I guess there's no harm in leaving it on. As long as it just doesn't impact my item list. My item list needs to be, like, super clean. I need to be able to assess if there's something in there that I want. I could potentially even just restrict the healing items from the item reader altogether. That way I just have a smaller list. Might be worth doing. I am using them in tandem. Oh, they just actually got melted. Or 
more Gaboey stacks, more. Meter. Oh, rip me. I deserve that, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess my takeaways from challenge mode is just like learning to die it, it, a little sooner with my uh, escape dolls. I, I do feel like, in particular, for those longer cave levels. I just couldn't do anything. Like, I just didn't have the right techs. Or I would just have no mono fluids, which is kind of brutal. Because while I saw a lot of die mates drop, like, throughout the run, like, like four or five, I don't think a single die fluid dropped the entire run. Kind of rough. You know, mono fluids restoring 50% of my TP, and that's it. That's kind of bad. That barely lasts me a room most of the time. Also, I need to make sure I stand more to the north, just in case I forget about the Rappies. I'm gonna stay here, because I should be able to hit the Marissas and then the Rappies without needing to be. And since I'm also here, I can really do some big damage to Yowie here. And again, if I'm missing damage kills by just a little bit, you know, if I really need to, I could go back and get a Gapoe merge, but... As long as I'm at least using Magical Piece, better than nothing. Like here, the stack is super important that I have damage here. That way they don't just get overrun instantly. Back to Kapoe stacking. Yeah, so I'm basically near the Rappies. They're gonna take big damage, although I think I'm about to get hit in the face. Oops, somebody saved me. I definitely would have been hit there normally. I might be able to get the item reader down to the point where it doesn't even tell me about the grinders. The only time it's useful is if we are splitting up and I need to understand what items are in rooms that people are in if we split in like a challenge mode or we split in some... For casual play, I don't care. We'll give teams some time to set up on the Goron detonators. A good old debuff here. They're like easy, a nice and lore. Oh, my man, sacking at the end. I gotta remember, sometimes their team damage is actually decent. <laughs> so I'm like, wait a minute. I gotta actually go for we stack, my man. So, I think it could get a little less. There we go. Big defense jump. Yeah, do you like that feeling too, where you're not really worried about builds playing challenge mode either? So it's just like, oh, power material? Just eat it. Just don't even think about it. Whereas, like, you play normal PSO and it's like, oh man, do I have the plan set out? <laughs> Does it match my mag? I guess. 
There we go. I donated. You're welcome. That'll be a super buff, actually. Only 45. Better than nothing, I guess. Oh, by the way, we need to figure out a name for my upcoming challenge mode weapon. Because it looks like we are definitely on target for beating it before December. I'm imagining I'm going to get a hell shot. Some, <laughs> I think it should probably be a dumb name, something like no shot. I think it can only be eight letters, which makes it a bit difficult. Although I think it also can't have spaces, so I might have to be creative. Not sure if it allows lowercase or not. But yeah, having that on my Pink ID Ranger would be huge, because then we can start doing temple runs more consistently. And then going forward, I well, I'm not gonna say I'm never gonna do challenge mode again, but it, it's okay. I would say I, I did caves is kinda weird. Maybe the other ones will balance out a bit more. But I still want to see at least what the other challenge mode episode... I want to see what episode 2 is like in particular. Because if it's like way easier to run, then I'd be like, oh, okay. Maybe there's some weird moment where episode 2 is not some horrible monstrosity of uh, game design. Maybe there's moments approaching fun. <laughs> Maybe. Into this. Unlock is real. Pew pew pew. Dead. You know, only using three dive fluids up until this point in the run to me is insane. Eat gel in 30. Uh, sure, I'll pick it up. You got it. Never hurts to have spares of those. Some people don't have it. I know one of my forces actually didn't even have all the debuffs I found out the other day. I was like, wait a minute, they're only using 28s? Oops. That's possible I have a character that still needs it. Back to the Bowie stacking forever. Oh, I'm even gonna level up so I super don't need to do anything here. Almost max MST at least. Anyway, back to Kapoe stacking, because I don't want those Barissas doing anything. There we go. Team kept them off me. I'll reward the team by melting the room. Debuff room, debuff room, back to Kapoe stacks. Debuff room, debuff room, back to Kapoe stacks. Target him. Bye. A gel in 30 in a second. I see it popped up on my mini map. They'll be able to find it. Look at that. Um. What's up, Captain Trimates? I'm just gonna drop them because I'm assuming somebody needs them. <laughs> just pick them up. Be stocked no matter what. Okay, let's see. Who do we get? Yeah, I might go back and pick up a Gafoe merge, but that's about it. Okay, Galatine Chance. Yeah, not the. Ooh, immediately body. Oh, 
alone, leave me alone. Damn, there's no hittables near me. I'm just kind of stuck in the wall. Oh, come on, stop hitting me. I think I'm the only one that can survive laser, other than Dago. So, I mean, I guess, yeah. I think you need 980 something. I'm gonna say have fun. Got a rebar to merge on. I can actually start unequipping this in the HP. Once I get to like 1060, I'm gonna unequip it. Feel like, uh, I don't know, like a heavenly mind or something, just to make sure I cap. Got me? Almost got it. Pretty close. Oh, that was the most generous I've ever seen the spinners. They didn't even hit me. It's crazy. Oh, I got the perfect heal! Yeah! Frame perfect! Yeah! Come on, chat. That's so hype. Get out of here. <laughs> it saves me so much time. I don't even spend any time menuing. Oh, there we go. There is the unlucky spinners I was expecting earlier. Slightly too late. Got it. And perfect clear. Ow. <laughs> There's so many missiles hitting me. Leave me alone. There we go. I mean, you might as well just go for the frame perfect rest though while you're waiting. Nothing better to do. Oh. Oh, I thought chat was gonna kill it. Oh. Never mind. I was just trying to break the cutscene. Chat trolled me by stop damaging the boss. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. I got trolled. <laughs> so close. No cutscene break, I guess. Rip cutscene break. Sub-19, I'll take that. We'll put some items away. I'm gonna put on a Gafoe Merge, just to be a little more optimal. 60 hit freeze ray gun. Yeah. Yeah, we've leveled in Parameter. Straight to 88. Let me go take the Gafoe Merge out of here. Also, I should just buy more amplifiers at this point. I have like, I don't know, like 40 spare PD. I might as well do that so I stop menuing. The problem is just like Red Barrier Merge, or Red Barrier plus uh, Rafoe Merge is very expensive. Rafoe Merge, on the other hand, is not that bad. I think at minimum all my characters should have that. Until like it's slightly better HP, I'll keep using heavily HP. There's no rush for me to use HP materials either, because there's not really another unit that I would want to wear. If I had a third out of maybe I would consider doing that. One day we will see Rare Dwarf on chat. We'll, we'll get the elusive Cannon Rouge on Yellow ID. It would at least be nice if we saw a Pazuzu. Because I wouldn't mind an upgrade to Girasol.
go a little more time. Go. Look at us doing the spin kick. Yeah. Yeah, I think we got a decent going here. Leveling up, leveling up all these ults. Because basic or basically every quest is like a level, level and a half. Like even for me, it's like 0.8 of a level. It's still a lot, even at 134. You have no idea, Chad. The urge. What drops on yellow ID here? Pazuzu is Girasol. Rare Dorfon is Cannon Rouge. Vertibulu is Swordsman Lore. Uh, uh, Galatine from Boss. Daylight Scar from Contrio. I'm sure there's a couple items I'm forgetting, but th those are the major ones. So I usually prefer yellow ID during rare enemy week, just because it, it basically everything is there. Yeah, heavenly power from Zoo, not bad. There's one other yellow ID drop in desert that I'm forgetting. Maybe one day, in theory, chat, we will see the the dwarf on a for the cannon rouge. One day. Being actually destroyed. I'll double check the drop list. Over here. Ooh. 13 from boxes is also nice. I'll never see the, the dork on a clear, pretty much. Oh, Lieutenant Mantle from Gorons is okay for cell fodder. The other thing I was forgetting. Technically, there's also Photon Filters from Zabudas, so I think those actually sell for a decent amount. So there's like decent value in every area, it's just a little better with uh, their enemy week. I'm more optimal with Gafoe, guys. I've Gafoe merge on. I did it. More Gafoe stats. Or Zeus. That did so much damage to me. Holy. targeted by the guys there. Played some star atomizers. Why not? Yeah, photon filters could be nice. Those go for an okay price. Mostly just hoping for more swords than more, or uh, Galatine. But despite doing this quest a lot, I've still not received a Galatine from this boss. Quite some time. We got, I think, literally one in the anniversary quest. Or anniversary of enemy. And never again. 
Yeah, so those are the Buddhas there, or the photon filter droppers. On the plus side, if rare enemy does spawn, we have a pretty good shot at getting it due to it being rare weak at the moment. Gifoe merge, I kill them with one less Gifoe. That'll help, I think, with Marissa's at this rate, then. Yeah, look at that. They're all within, like, one fireball. That hurt. Yeah, that's an example where I saw there was a dive fluid on the minimap, so I just ate a dive fluid and then look where it was on the actual game screen. Poor enemies, once they get debuffed, it's over. GG to them, I guess. And parameter said 87, already 89. Slowly becoming tankier. It takes them a long time. Yeah, I was saying on a previous stream that Cuca Seals are probably one of the few characters I would ever consider putting more than 50 HP on. The other being Fonurul, where I do not blame people for 125ing her. It's just weird that she gets so little HP for, for the like a frontline tank. But otherwise, like, do I really rush HP materials on, like, Ramar, Ramarl? Nope. The ones I have eaten have mostly been mistakes. Or before I knew to not do that. Nice, well done, draw. Sounds like chase music. Get proper Gafoe stacking going. I can basically turn my brain off there. Let's level up for the team. Yeah, uh, Diva. So that way, team's not waiting in eternity. Reminds me, I gotta walk slightly further forward. Forward. A little micro steps in between waves. Uh, there. Now I should be able to react to the rapids. Slash be close enough that it shouldn't matter now. Ooh, there we go. That's a big damage dealt to them with the Kapoe stacks. What I want to see. Goodbye, Marissa's. Walk a little further forward for the Rappies. They shouldn't spoof. Nice. They're about to take some big damage. Poor Yowies. Let's 
see some demon usage in there, GG. <laughs> My bad. I'll put a fireball down. Also, why did I pick up a monomate? Gross. Am I in for it, please? I stick on my menu. We will be ready for the Grand Detonator. Keep up. Yeah, we'll weaken a couple of them, but we need to get back to good Bowie stacking up for that. Otherwise, we'll be in trouble. Perfect. Laser. Thinking I'm willing to do maybe one more of this quest, and maybe we'll switch over to. It's gonna be Pew Laser with. Got it. This quest is worth good XP, but I do get quest fatigue. If I play it like five times in a row, I start going bonkers. something still episode 4 related. I'm just trying to think what. I guess technically we could try the sweep up operation for 4 XP. <laughs> just to see what it's like. Although, if it's going to be surface only, I'll switch IDs. Need to double check the count and that. I know it has a lot of dwarf ones, but I forget about the other enemies. Debuff, debuff, go back to stacking. Yeah, I like that when we do this, it's kind of like a... It's kind of an XP quest, but it is like a legit quest simultaneously. Oh, I know what we could do after we do one more of these. We could do, because Promethean's here, let's give him a couple of cookie quests. Cook two cookie quests. The team has earned it after getting through uh, challenge mode. And I can have an excuse to bring in an ID, I think. That ID would be more preferable to level, but I think B101 chances makes more sense to give to the group. Also, my bad. I realized I got interrupted out of my debuff earlier. And I'm getting a shocking amount of fluids. I don't know if it's just I'm noticing them more, or if ge ge just genuinely I'm getting like double to triple tri fluids. This team is also dropping things. Because normally I'm down to like seven tri fluids and like seven die fluids. I've now ended two runs at almost full both times. And I didn't even level up in this one, where if I did, I, I don't even think I would have used the die fluids. Very silly stuff. Goodbye, these enemies. Did 
so much fireball sack from these Marissas. They're done. They could try to move, but it's already over. At your door, don't worry, Dango. Be covered. Debuff going, get another debuff going, and back to the floor staff. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Maybe? Oh, lift. Okay, good. <laughs> With the short. It's like, ah, oh, the zoo lasered me. That might kill me. Came close. And yeah, we'll do, like... One more of this quest, a cookie quest, ETF? That'll still be within the beats. Have some of these to sell. It's nice to help people level their ults. But they become even stronger carries in the future. A package? Nice. Uh, country? Nope. Okay, another Galatine chance. That's all I view this as. I'm like, okay. That's what I like about Yellow ID. It doesn't matter what boss it is, it's always gonna give you something. <laughs> it's like, okay. Like, oh, 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 woe is me to get another Galatine. Uh, nothing of interest to kill over here, that sucks. Okay, there's a orange one over here. Shoot it a couple times. Nicely done by the chat. I'm gonna go ahead and debuff. Team has that, so I'm just gonna start heading to the next area. This is what I've also learned to do. When you recognize you're not needed, you just move on. Like, I'm now almost all the way at the other door. Save some time. Yeah, <laughs> it falls right in front of me. There we go, time save. So what we're also going to do is switch back to the Rebarta merge. Uh, yeah. I've also learned not to hug the wall as much in the event that it doesn't do tornado. Spinners are in a bad spot for me. Yeah, they knocked me off center. That sucks. So close to doing it correctly. Slightly too early. Ooh, slightly too late. Find the sweet spot. Gonna heal just in case I get clipped or something stupid. The missile said no to me. He gonna said no to me. Where's my uh, soundtrack? On Layton Brothers Mystery Room. Yes, there we go. Take that cutscene. <laughs> there you go. You're all free now. Heal up while I'm here. Seeing parameters, hair thing wiggling. <laughs> Sadly, my hair, my hair should have physics. Like the most outrageous of spikes. Let's 
idea. We'll do one more of these, then we'll switch over to like a Zip of War. Maybe a green ID. Maybe we'll get a Heaven Striker. Anatomizer. <laughs> Danko says my hair should have physics too. Are you like the bobblehead robot? <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> also, how many tickets do I have with this character? I must have like a million at this point. I genuinely probably have over 200. I feel like I've cleared at least 15 quests, which would put me at at least 140. Check later. We'll do one more of this, and then we'll switch to uh, one cookie run. Also, I should have sold those armors. Sell now, I guess. I feel like we're going to take random stage again, and then when we go to play it, it's just going to end up giving us falls again for no reason. Just oops. Oops only, uh, falls. <laughs> Could you imagine if there was something about the RNG, like if you actually legitimately brought in nothing but Viridian and it just forces it to falls? That would be the greatest and funniest exploit, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> just think about it, we got like eight falls in a row. Oh, no, maybe not eight. Maybe we have at least six in a row. So that's one in four happening six times in a row. We were interrupted once in that entire flow. And we are, like, still way above average of getting that. Really funny. Yeah, I had the solo run, which I'm not counting towards that total. And then literally only one route did not take us there. And by there, I mean ruins. It's a good 50-50. With all my being, I will not Gafoe. I will not Gafoe. It's so tempting. You buff them, though. Dango's using the character and he's like, wait a minute, why is my level 147 Hugh Cass with more? <laughs> like, why does he have more ATP? Wait. <laughs> right, Dango? Especially as you start getting closer to 180, you're like, wait, I was 1600, what happened? Are you doing more damage than my Humar ever will? Damn. Hard truths, though. Gladly take that die flute as well. That die flute as well. I can't tell if the music is pausing or if there's just like awkward gaps at the end of the songs. It sounds like it's the latter. About to open the music player again and be like, what happened? <laughs> Where's my music? Go Bowie stack mode. This will slow them down. Oh, that's right, there's Astarx first. This will still slow them down. Poor satellite lids. Almost got one shot. Man, those dudes just explode. Watching the team target them just go, Nyeom, gone. Oh, it's in a pretty good spot, actually. He <laughs> started around to stomp me? Rude.
don't think I care about Escape Doll. I mean, I guess I could get Fair Meter, if worst comes to worst, but... Not exactly a drop that's needed on this character. It came with hit percentage, unlike most things that drop. <laughs> just like, okay. Guess I'll pick it up just to see what it is. There we go. Big Gafoe time. Look at that. Only the Ast Arc is left. GG. The damage output is so high with Magical Piece Gafoe Merge. Look at this. They're actually almost dying instantly. to debuff both of them. Or why not? Non level 20. I don't think I don't think so. Nice try though, game. Uh, so I'm very likely to level before I need TP again. Nice level up from the team there, actually. At least we could say we really tried hard to get extra V101s for the team for today. Between all the random attacks this morning on Viridian. Now, uh, in the afternoon, potentially some... Uh, Definitely want to lower the amount of existence. I do not want it to be Goodbye, other Yaoi. Lathundra. Goodbye, Satellite Lizard. chance for Dorphonic player. Damn. One day, chat, we will see it. Oh, I got run over. Oh, there's that the soundtrack. Not a very long soundtrack. Oh, there's a- oh no, there's another 7th Dragon OST? Oh no. Are we sure it's Rare Drop? It doesn't feel like it. Okay, this one at least is not 77 songs. Okay, we're good. I was gonna say. That would have been so brutal to sit through. Yeah, it feels kind of- kind of a bad week so far, at least in terms of drops. It's like, amazing how little we've seen in terms of Rare Drops. Kind of embarrassing, actually. Like, the only thing that dropped today at all for anybody that was relevant was Red Sword for Chris. Across almost, like, five hours of gameplay, that's pretty bad. 
boosted the shifter. Yeah, but it's not even boosted by rare up. <laughs> if it was drop rate, I would say yes. We'd feel the effects of drop rate week there. So sad. Also, let's do that. Oh, man. Yeah, oh no, it's a gel one I picked up earlier, not a ship though. But still, from uh, Promethean. Ooh, that was such a good stack. I just killed all of them. I was gonna say, I'm definitely feeling hungry because it is like 220 and I have not had food. But we'll get there eventually. Is that a range of the Raffi? Really? It's pretty close. That I'm kind of shocked at. I don't even think I was that far. Oh well. Goodbye, Marissa's. I like that Cass can still use Slicer of Fanatic on the Gerda Mulu because it's just so busted on that creature in general. I find that hilarious. Uh oh, the chat spawned the Zeus. Congratulations, yeah. Uh, oop, they're uncontrolled. Let's do this. Debuff, debuff. It's okay, Chad. <laughs> I'm so used to doing that, I don't even think. I autopilot into those zoos. I do my own little zigzag. It's, there's so many variants that work. It's like the easiest AI I'm in it. Once you realize, as long as the only thing you do is don't just hold straight forward or wait by the door, you should usually get it. It's not very picky. Oh, I got excited. I was like, wait a minute, did an actual rare drop? But I was like, no. <laughs> why Why would a rare drop in rare week? That's just, that's just silly. I guess I'll go pick up my PD. At some point. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, oh, ex oh, excuse me. I was I was making fun of the game for not dropping rares. It still didn't drop me rare, but it, it did make up for it a little bit to be fair. I'm out of range, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm still no swordsman lore. Nice. We'll pick this up, number one. Pick up this number two. And we'll eat a die fluid, I guess. I was gonna say, I guess if somebody's red sorting, it might as well as lore. Wow, they knocked me down with Jelen. It's kind of unfortunate, honestly. So soonish, I'll have to rebuff it. Not in a rush, but definitely before next room. If we need groups together, I'll try to shift down. Debuff, debuff. Oh, I missed somebody with the buff. Who did I not hit? Got there eventually. I think what threw me off is the different player was in player four slots. So I was like, wait a minute. Nice, already 94. 
I'm gonna say almost went up eight levels, but like it's seven a great feature. Definitely gonna support this. Buy right over there. Damn. I forgot to say, the, the latest patch actually bans all rare items from dropping, so... It's gonna be PSO now, so it's gonna be a lot of Rebarda 29s. Buy these enemies. Okay. There we go, let's debuff. Kill. Back for the next wave, because forces don't fight the current wave. The most they do is debuff, and they're like, listen, my Gapoe stack is approaching. Just need those satellite lizards to explode. And then when the next Goron detonator is spawn, I'm going to be like, yep, I'm in between them. That's fine. Big damage to them. Goodbye, Marissa's. Good job, team. Debuff time. We're here. Lots of grinders. Say no rare enemy, no rare, no rare drops. Not like this quest doesn't have a million enemies. Whatever. <laughs> right, chat. Whatever. Oh, I was slightly too close to somebody. That's unfortunate. Not to take a million damage here. I see the red thing, but I can't hit it, I don't think. No, I'm gonna get bullied too hard. I need to- Oh, please stop re-hitting me. It's so brutal. sure if that hit me or not, but I guess it didn't. Yeah, so I think the goal is to kind of just go sort of here, but not actually hug the wall. Yeah, like, now if it does tornado, I go slightly more to the right. That's fine. Getting knocked down does mess me up. That's gonna be really hard to fix. Mostly just because the spinners and missiles were messing me up. Yeah, I messed it up. My bad, chat. If I could get like one non baseball spin, I'd be good. That, that'll keep it at least in the main room. But once they pop it, we'll just destroy it again. That's fine. We'll go to the side. Eventually it'll be targetable. 
Why is the boss allowed to get so many attacks off in the middle chamber when it's already dead? It's kind of BS. Acknowledge that it should be dead. No, I couldn't revive Dango. I tried. I'm so sorry, Dango. Rip Dango. whole lot of nothing. Jeez. Hold on to the re knob just because, but I don't otherwise need it. Okay, I think this character is at least respectable enough to clear on his own. I would prefer like another 30 defense so I don't get knocked over constantly. this special gun in here, because I don't really want that in my share bank. Sell those items, restock, addicts. So many PBs. So yeah, we'll do one cookie run on episode 4, and maybe that's actually it? I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling pretty hungry. I don't think I could do a full TPF after this. So I think I'll switch into a green ID Omar, I guess. I don't think there's any other green ID characters that I can play. I don't really want to play QP Blazer into it. Um, there's no other force. Let's do... Yeah, we'll end with a cookie run. Give ourselves one last chance to be 101. Yeah, thanks everybody for joining in the runs today. Definitely interesting going through challenge mode. And at least we get to see the classic PSOism where we're like, yeah. We're all ready! Look at look at all the bonuses we have! And then we go to play and there's just no items. That, that's a classic PSO. Smart Link, God Technique, Vieta 1. What a combo. Yeah, so I'll put Fire Scepter on. There we go, we have 40 cookies instead of 41. I should also just bring a Kofoe merge with me. There we go. So, let's see. Don't need that, don't need that. Something like this. Could buy my defense. Will we be rewarded? <laughs> Promethea gonna basically... Do a Jojo vampire sound if he doesn't get an item. It is crazy though. Like at least like a photon crystal or something that's a rare draw. It's crazy. Like he We've we've seen so little at this point. 
Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's just rude. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Rude. Don't get no. I don't want more point touch rocks. Give me a rare item. Where's the rare item? Save it for zoos. So rude. Yeah, see these zoos in particular. Remember, these are V101s. So hopefully somebody gets one here. It's not quite at the game owes us one territory yet, but at some point, between one of us, it we deserve a single item. I don't know. It doesn't have to be a value, but I'd at least like to see a rare drop. Just feel the promise that they're in the game somewhere. Jokes on them. I'm attacking Gaboe. Goodbye, Satellite Lizard. There we go. We got Imperimeter 10 levels. That is a lot of extra ATP for Imperimeter. Still like another 90-ish HP to go to survive uh, Thorfun, sadly, though. I swear, if we get like Rare Zoo or something, that will also tilt me. I'm not gonna lie. Like, we're like, no, I don't want them. Fuck material. Okay, it's not bad. Better. Okay, we're just gonna keep everybody debuffed. Dango getting a Heaven Striker. Congratulations, Dango. There we go. So that Okay, now we're good. I mean, it'd be nice if we got more, but... There we go. Worth the cookie. And Dango's like, I don't even play Rangers. And it's like... It can't- it couldn't have come with hit percentage, but... Still have useful attributes on it. Might have to now. I mean, they're not hard to make. Just depends on where you see yourself wanting to use them. As to which one you should take. Is that another ticker along the top? Oh no, it was just fading out. We rebuffed the He's a raw new man. True. I gotta level my faux cast. Yeah, it definitely can't come with hit percentage because we would have seen it. Unless it rolled bare minimum hit. And I'm not sure. Pops up. 20 native. That's not bad. Fire to Bulu. You're so dead. Just level up for the team. I say, remember when in Parameter was 87? Already getting to the point where it can survive multiple hits from these enemies. I might have moved too much there. Well, actually, not that bad. I only missed one Rappy. Would have been much worse. Buff time. Yeah, Heaven Striker is so good that it could literally have all zeros and still be game changing, whether Pew Pew Laser or the fact that it berserks for like 6 trillion damage versus falls. I was gonna say, the music's going hard. It's a very interesting soundtrack so far. There we 
go. We're making Dangotron even more powerful. Wow, 100 already for Imperameter. What a shortcut of levels. An ultimate wave, I better move out of the way. Absolutely destroyed. Might as well just collect the money. I got nothing else to collect, to be honest with you. Like, uh. There's the tri-fluid. For some reason, it also wasn't popping up in the drop box. Maybe the drop box got overwhelmed. Yeah, what happened to it? Why isn't it highlighting luck material? Is it because my character's cap? I, I don't understand. Did I break it? Yeah, I'm not even getting any pop-ups. What happened to the Dropbox reader? There we go. Weird. I guess it got overwhelmed, question mark? It, it did actually stop working there for some reason. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it just, it straight up turned off. I had to reload it. Like, can't uh, compute too many items. Oh. Why do I still have so many badges? <laughs> I can't even put them away. <laughs> Chad, I have too many badges. No. Every time I use them for ad slots, I still find more somehow. Every time. What a painful scenario to be in. The near infinite bronze badges I can't seem to get rid of. Oh, I'll go take it back. Thank you. Put some money away in here. This character earned it. I'm gonna talk to the cookie person. You know what? I guess I'll I'll do one CTF for the group. I'll do it for you. Although I don't know what I need to play for it. I guess this should probably be fourth. Wait, team's free to pick whatever they want. Okay, I think I know who I want to play as. I'll bring in a force. Team can bring in whatever they want to level. I actually have one character that is technically set up for it, and we have used her a little bit, but it's Dumpling. She has her Red Saber Crimson Coat set up, so technically she's ready to multiplayer TTF. I might as well as use her briefly. Look at that setup, chat. Triple Centurion so I can wear the ATP item. So dumb. I mean, like, 1550 ATP is... It could be worse, I guess. This at least is 35% machine. If somebody sees a better uh, Red Saber, please let me know. Oh, by the way, I am definitely killing every enemy in the first room to see if she could get a better Red Saber. And by better, I don't even mean hit percentage, I just mean it needs to be like 50% machine or something. She is so desperate for stats, it's unreal. I think this is fine. And I even have Club of Laconium for falls. We're good. Eh, I'm so short. Yeah, Dango can help with slime dupes. Should be good. Bonk. Is <laughs> she? She just fades it into the earth. I don't think I've ever done that with her before. Wait a minute. Oops. <laughs> Too short. Uh, PS though. <laughs> that would make quite a screenshot to see a blur of where she should have been. 
she almost went to the Shadow Realm. Also, I have quadruple scape dolls, so I think I'll be fine. That's her gear soul animation. I can't think of what else it would look that goofy with. There we go. Does that have to be something that needs two hands? There's only so many things that could be. in the boxes. No disco brave man so far. This is winning. There we go. Just a little clean out here. Come on. Give, give me a red saber. A good one, please. I appreciate it. Oh, I used the wrong diva. That's fun. So sad. Rip Dangotron. Dango died for our sins. I'm gonna club a Laconium. I mean, the fact that I'm basically four shotting him is not the worst thing ever. There. Bonk. Dango going all the way down. I guess I'll stay behind just to open boxes. I'll, I'll bite the bullet for the team. I'm not a cast, so I don't need to rush into the slime room. In fact, what I could do now is actually cast a couple of Bowies, because that should open the boxes. If nothing's there, I'll just pick up the boss reward and leave. Oh, for the bosses, nothing for me as well. That's brutal. I can't combo with that. One, two, three. In case I want to slime dude. Yes, I could, but I prefer not to. You know what, that was kind of a nasty Gafoe stack on them, I'm not gonna lie. Just need like a little help like from from me help from Miki and did there just to finish. But for like overall efficiency, it's not bad. Maybe I should just Gafoe stack this room. Yeah. Works. Ryuker here. Oh, there we go. Almost got baited. I was like, wait a minute. One of these telepipes doesn't take me back to where I need to go. Now communicating like a bee. The art of dance. 
Am I the only one without invincibility? It sucks. Well, I'm ready to get bodied, I guess. I'm gonna run away from the boss in case it's targeting me. This should pop it open. The Gafoe should just instantly pop all these boxes. I'm gonna kill every guild chick. Let's see if we get a heart of. A stack of foe in the meantime. Yeah, Confuse Trap is huge. As long as somebody's doing the main quest, I think it's fine. Yeah, come on, heart of item. There we go. Let's see, just gotta get through the Sinnoh Blues. I think I could do by doing this to lure them away from... Damn, that works every time. I just... Oh, I won. I just want to go to the next room. There we go. Group. gonna go ahead and wipe all the robots here. No mercy. Come on, hard ups. Yeah, they just... Sinnoh Red is, the, I think, the thing that has good items, but sadly not Sinnoh Blue. It's kind of the odd man out most of the time. Yeah, ever since the really big nerf who drops, I almost healed Dango. That would have made Dango so sad. Actually, I might still be able to stun lock. Guess I could go for it. I'll try. I mean, I do have Red Saber, Crimson Coat, so it shouldn't be totally awful. It's just more, can I do the chain? The real question. Yeah, there we go. Got it. <laughs> Look at that chat. <laughs> she put in the work. She has no ATP. It's gonna go for it. I'll melee it a little bit. At least it's better than nothing. I'm gonna do one Gifoe stack into a Rezond. So I'm going to clear the first room up until we kill the Arlen. So Arlen's are the Disco Brave Man chance. So I'll help kill the Claws. Chat will kill the Horse. And then we'll finish off the Arlen's to get the other I said as I could hit. Okay, right, there we go. Yeah, I'm going to make sure every Arlen dies because I want my Disco chances. Oh, Disco Brave Man, nope. Not a good hit percentage. Oh, I got excited. 
I had green letters and everything. Damn. Unrewarded. I'm gonna kill these. Team can go ahead and clear. I'm, I'm not good at the other ones. We'll also kill the... What's it called? The... Deathbringers or whatever. Those are spread needle. But we can take care of those. Apparently missed Dangotron with the buffs. My bad. Be there soon. Unfortunately, Hugh cast is Hugh cast, but I lured two of them to smack me in the face. I feel like that's fair. I think that's about all I could do. There we go. Sadly, no spread needle. Damn you, rare enemy weak. Or rare item, excuse me. To get tell I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> get a D-band going, because why not? Oh, they healed the Dango. That's brutal. Poor Dango. The troll is real. Yeah, I'm gonna Gafoe stack into probably Glide Divine. The range is so huge. If Dango dies again, I'm gonna heal. <laughs> That's all I know. Got enough stacks, it might instantly die here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I saw Promethean moving around. I wasn't even gonna walk over the rest of Dango. Not gonna lie. Thought it was gonna happen. Let's keep it simple here. So with Glide Divine out, I'm able to debuff, and then I can spam Gafoe Resta. Okay. No, I got stunned. No, it's not supposed to hit me that many times. No. I got trolled. Rip. Oh. It hit me on like the last possible hit so that I couldn't cast or use items. I was recovering from the flinch of the explosion. Unlucky. Paramita doesn't have buffs. Let's go heal. No, oh, I'm getting bullied. There we go. On the plus side, I do like a million damage with my fireball. Are you really targeting me? Okay, I had to move. I have, I have too low of a health to survive anything else. Get out of here. Bonk. Not the phone rule. Get out of here, Falls. <laughs> uh, music? You feeling okay there? I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost. So there we go. Let's see if anybody got Red Ring. I'm gonna say by the lack of excitement, the answer is no. <laughs> The safe bet, as we like to say. So yeah, I don't mind playing Red Force into this. So it's nice that I'm giving uh, this character more love other than in Episode 4, because I feel like she's like slightly just not strong enough for Episode 4. 
I mean, it helps that I'm slowly getting to her max MST. The fact that I'm like triple Centurion, but still not able to like five fireball kill stuff is kind of painful. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll identify the 15% hit, I guess. Maybe a new player will want this. Yeah, I made sure to stack as many Centurions as possible for that ATP. <laughs> just like, I don't even care. Just all, just all of them. Fortunately, I have a million escape dolls to revive me, so I don't really have that much doing anything else. Anyway, solid try. I guess I'll get my escape doll back, because there's no way that wasn't an S rank. We got so many kills, and he doesn't care about time. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, old man. I'm gonna escape doll back at least. And we went money positive, which is always good. But yeah, sadly, it seems like rare items are not in the cards for us. Let's chat. I think by the time we do stuff next week, we will probably finish challenge mode on stage, or at least from episode one. It might give us an opportunity to complete episode twos, and that the pace is there. And I don't think episodes two, episode twos is as long either. Yeah, so it's it's two hours less for the S rank. So it's very likely we actually will finish on the first week of December, uh, episode two's challenge mode. If we average about an hour and a half every time, that means we only need three sessions. If you work backwards from there, if we spend three sessions for the next episode one clear, because we're on average clearing three, that still leaves us an extra session for wiggle room which is good so i'll probably take a break on that on one of those sundays after we're done with the challenge mode and then uh hopefully we'll be able to enjoy challenge mode weapons in uh the christmas event so i'm sure chad is looking forward to their first es weapon as it were oh that reminds me chad at some point i also need to spear but i haven't really been playing classes that use speared weapons so far like, I haven't been playing a lot of Ramar, even on stream, or Ramarl. Mostly just been sticking to Force. But we'll see. When I go to do the challenge mode weapon, that'll that'll encourage me to at least get, like, maybe a Dark or a Machine percent uh, Baran's Launcher. But anyway. Yeah, I'm looking at some of these other ones. So suggesting for like stage one, we have 13 minutes. Stage two, cave one is 47 minutes. Yeah, I don't think we even had a 47 minute one. So if we're if we're averaging 35 minutes there, yeah, we're good. Although it seems like the later ones take a lot more time, according to this. So that could be a little, a little iffy. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'm a little scared that that towers is is 50 minutes, but seabeds is 85. Oh, because you have to do you have to fight Oga Flow? Oh, do you have to do that whole thing and then fight Oga Flow? Oh, gross. That's so long. Ew. Ew. You have to do all of Seabed into that? Ew. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna be the hell one, chat. <laughs> Just gonna let you know. Oh man, come on. Are you serious? There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, six rooms into Olga Flow. Holy, that looks horrible. That's so much worse than just doing it normally. This is actually disgusting, chat. Actually disgusting how long Seabed is. Gross. Yeah, Seabed is stages 21 to 26, inclusive of those numbers. Holy. Tower, meanwhile, is two areas, thankfully. 
Yeah, how is central control area not the longest? Because you think it would mean going to like jungle and mountain and then back. You would think that should have been the longest. <laughs> right? You do the three areas into the boss. This one's like, no, more in seabed. More. <laughs> so yeah, it might be kind of hard. I guess with how long the episode two ones are, it might be hard to do more than one stage in a single attempt or a single session of it. Because we'll probably play about an hour 40 minutes. And if each one is almost an hour by itself, that's kind of rough, honestly. Yeah, sea, sea beds looks like garbage. How unfortunate is it were. But anyway, that's something for us to quote unquote look forward to later. But anyway, thanks for watching, and let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd just like to thank you again for watching, and hope to see you again next time.